Berenstain Bears Get in a Fight by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Hi, welcome to Living Books. We are the Berenstain Bears. I'm Sister Bear. And I'm Brother Bear. This is a story about how we got into a big fight. Huh. It's also about how we made up. If you want to have the story read to you, click right here. Or if you want to play inside the story, click over here. Come on, let's, let's dance! <laughs> when two small bears don't get along, the grown-ups worry <coughs> what went wrong. <coughs> Most mornings, the sun rose to greet the day, and the mockingbird sang outside an upstairs window. Inside the treehouse, Brother Bear and Sister Bear would wake up. Hey! I was still sleeping. Huh? Coming. Huh? Nobody here. <laughs> Brother Bear? Good morning, sister. Good morning, sister. <laughs> la 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 la! Cubs, get up. Your breakfast is ready. I've made your favorite. My famous honey nut pancakes. Mmm! Brother and sister usually got along very well. They took turns nicely with the bathroom. May I use the bathroom now? I'm finished. You can come in. Thanks.
Brother Bear, you can come in. Breakfast is almost ready. Okay, I'll be there soon. Come on, let's go down to breakfast. They said please and thank you at breakfast. Thanks. They often sat together on the school bus. After school, they worked together happily on their backyard treehouse. And they shared all of their toys. One gray morning, brother and sister didn't get along well at all. Maybe it was the weather, or maybe it was because the mockingbird slept late. But whatever it was, they got into a big fight. Get your dopey feet out of my face! My feet aren't dopey, and they're not in your face! Get your dopey face out of my face. You shut up. Just five more minutes. Just five more minutes. Forget it. Cubs, are you up yet? Yes, yes Mama. Mama. Well, while you sit there being a big grump, I'm going to get into the bathroom before you. You better not. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Sister Bear took a very long time brushing her teeth, washing up, and brushing her fur. You better come out of that bathroom, shouted Brother, banging on the door. Brother Bear, said Papa, you know better than to shout at your sister. But she's taking too long, and she's doing it on purpose, complained Brother. What possible excuse do you have for yelling at your sister like that? Well, she put her feet in my face, and then she called me a grump, and then she ran into the bathroom and locked the door, and now she's taking her time, and... None of which is any excuse for pounding on doors and making such a racket. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, sweetie. Oh! <laughs> Brother and sister didn't say please and thank you that morning at breakfast because they weren't speaking to each other. And they didn't sit together on the school bus. You can't use my treehouse. It's my treehouse too. They made a line down the middle of their backyard treehouse. It wasn't much fun sitting up there not speaking, especially when it began to rain. Hard. They kept on being mean by taking back the things they usually shared. They got so angry that they forgot they weren't speaking and began shouting at each other. Those are my toys. You can't play with them. 
Well, I want my clay back. Your dinosaurs look stupid anyway. Hey, that was my school project. I've been working on that for a week. Well, it's my clay and you can't use it. What is all the racket in here? I'm tired of you two yelling all the time. The neighbors didn't know which was worse, the big storm or the racket coming from the bear's house. Did not. Did too. Stop yelling. I did not. You did too. You shut up. No, you shut up. You throw like a girl. I am a girl, and I can throw farther than you. I'm not going to play with you. I'm never going to say anything you really you ever again. What are you now, two fighting word, about I now? I didn't know you could whistle like that, Mama. Well, I can whistle like that. And I can also tell you that I've had quite enough of this foolish fighting. Mama took the cubs into her lap. Why, I doubt you two even remember what you're fighting about. The cubs tried to remember, but they couldn't. Everybody gets into an argument once in a while, said Mama. Even folks who love each other very much. Granny, come over here and take a look at this. The cubs are getting along again. They stopped fighting. I've got to see this. Oh, how nice. We get angry, even call each other names and say things we really don't mean. And after a while, it's over. Like a storm? Yes, just like a storm. Look! The rain had almost stopped. The sun was beginning to shine through the clouds and had made a rainbow. Come on, let's go play together. Okay. So brother and sister bear hugged and made up. And got along just beautifully. Until the next time, anyway. Hey, watch it. You're getting it all messed up. No, I'm not. Watch what you're doing. <laughs> well, that was really fun. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.